Seashore by Ralph Waldo Emerson. Read for LibriVox.org by Alan Davis Drake. I heard, or seemed to hear, the chiding sea say, Pilgrim, why so late and slow to come? Am I not always here, thy summer home? Is not my voice thy music, morn and eve? My breath thy healthful climate in the heats? My touch thy antidote, my bay thy bath? Was ever building like my terraces? Was ever couch magnificent as mine? Lie in the warm rock ledges, And there learn a little hut suffices like a town. I make your sculptured architecture vain, Vain beside mine. I drive my wedges home, And carve the coastline mountains into caves. Lo, here is Rome and Nineveh and Thebes, Karnak and pyramid and giant stairs, half piled or prostrate, and my newest slab older than all thy race. Behold the sea, the opaline, the plentiful and strong, yet beautiful as is the rose in June, fresh as the trickling rainbow of July, sea full of food, the nourisher of kinds. Perjure of earth and medicine of men, Creating a sweet climate by my breath, Washing out harms and griefs from memory, And, in my mathematic ebb and flow, Giving a hint of that which changes not. Rich are the sea-gods, who gives gifts but they? They grope the sea for pearls, but more than pearls, They pluck force thence and give it to the wise. For every wave is wealth to Daedalus, wealth to the cunning artist who can work this matchless strength. Where shall we find, O waves, a load your atlas shoulders cannot lift? I, with my hammer pounding evermore the rocky coast, smite Andes into dust strewing my bed, and, in another age, rebuild a continent of better men. Then I unbar the doors. My paths lead out the exodus of nations. I dispersed men to all shores that front the hoary main. I, too, have arts and sorceries. Illusion dwells forever with the wave. I know what spells are laid. Leave me to deal with credulous and imaginative man. For, though he scoop my water in his palm, A few rods off he deems it gems and clouds. Planting strange fruits and sunshine on the shore, I make some coasts alluring, some lone isle, To distant men, who must go there or die. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain.